ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Versions. Today we are going to VF Engineering in Anaheim, California with the Rolls Royce to talk about my project ice cream truck. I know I haven't done a lot with that recently, but trust me, the ideas have been flowing from wide body to airbags to two JZs to humidifiers to everything in the interior, starry night headliner. We've gone crazy. So let's roll the VF and see what Nick has to say about it. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Go on the rolls. Go on the rolls. Go on the rolls, cutie. Go up in there. Oh. Madam. Who needs the spirit of ecstasy, am I right? We got ketchup in the house. Are you not the cutest dog in the planet? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's you. You like the Rolls Royce, don't you? those wheels though. Oh my god, it's the Sublime Tour Van. Probably not, but it looks like it. Dang. That is so cool. Now that we're in the car waiting, I kind of wanted to talk about some of the problems that I've had with this car and these cars in general. Nothing major whatsoever. I'm still absolutely loving the Rolls. I figured I'd talk about some of the downsides to an old Rolls Royce of this generation. Obviously, nothing is going to be perfect, but it's done a much better job of driving flawlessly, feeling incredible, no rattles, no squeaks, and just being a Rolls Royce. But check out some of the little things. For one, the Spirit of Ecstasy logo is supposed to pop down, but the mechanism doesn't quite work. Unsurprising though, as this car is old. We've got random cracks and creases on the wood. The panels don't quite line up properly. This little device here pops up and down when it feels like it. This is actually impossible to keep closed once you open it. And there's a couple finicky elements of whatever's going on here. The weirdest aspect of this car that's wrong is the electronics related to the headlights. So when I turn the car on, it automatically brings on the lights. Whether they're off or on, it doesn't matter. The brights are on on the vehicle. It's actually pretty hilarious, but not really when I'm brighting people. And actually, the only way to turn the car off with the lights all the way off in its current form is to activate the turn signal. That puts the stock into a weird spot where all of a sudden the brights aren't on, and then you shut the car off and then the turn signal goes away. But that's gonna be a cheap electrical fix. Another common problem with older BMWs, and thus this Rolls Royce, is the rear and front window regulators. They went out all the time on my M5, they go out all the time on old 7 Series, and the rear windows of this car do not go up and down. It doesn't actually make any noise, so it might be an electronic thing because normally if the window regulator is broken or uh, the cable's off its tracks, you hear an attempt for the window to go down, but I'm not hearing any sort of noise whatsoever when I actually try to put the window down. Something of near zero concern is that it doesn't have any Bluetooth audio. That's an easy fix. We could just get a new head unit if I can freaking open this thing. A new head unit that has Bluetooth, this has discs, but uh, nothing other than that. However, I have a much better, much cheaper solution. Before we go any farther, I do have to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Cove Speakers, for literally improving my life. I got this Cove speaker about six months ago. I've used this thing at parties, upstairs in my house, outside by the pool, and more recently in this Rolls Royce that doesn't have Bluetooth, as a portable Bluetooth speaker. It's got eight hours of battery life. The X-Base subwoofer actually has some serious bump to it. It even has indoor and outdoor modes, and it can connect easily to your smartphone or tablet from up to 30 feet away. And honestly, most Bluetooth devices annoy me with how difficult it is to connect, but this thing works every single time. The best part is the speaker only costs $199, but what's even better than that is Using my exclusive link in the description below and the code PARKER65, you get 65% off. That's right, you're getting a sick Bluetooth speaker that actually sounds good. Oh, how's it going, Jeeves? Jeeves likes the speaker quite a lot. For literally $75. This has to be the best $75 or $200. Doesn't even matter the price speaker that I've ever used. So seriously, click that link in the description below. Thanks again to Cove for making my rides more enjoyable. All right, let's get on to the video.
ready to go to VF Engineering? Are you ready? Go on, you speed demon. Where are you going? <whistles> catch up, catch up. Hey, hey bud, hi. Just showed up to VF Engineering. I never thought I'd say this, but also to let the dog out to pee. It looks like we got the Vorsteiner media truck. This thing looks absolutely savage in matte black. Got some upgraded suspension, those beautiful wheels. It has the upgraded Fox suspension, Kemberg upper oh, control arms. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's got two reservoirs on the side instead of one. That's two's better than one. Yeah, beefier than it has the 17 inch wheels that I want. Yeah, I signers. like that big tire wall, sidewall, exactly. little wheels. Yeah, much better for uh, not worrying about getting it scratched or anything. Literally, the, yeah. Uh, bushes, rocks. Your wheels are like too that. sexy. I don't want them to get damaged. Exactly, especially with the finish. Hey, Jeeves, I got one question. Yes, sir. Why are you speaking in an in a American accent? I've been working on it, sir. Let's go inside VF, see what they've got in store for the day, and check out the ice cream truck. Behind me is a hypercharged Performante. If you guys haven't seen that video that I did with VF, I recommend doing so because it might have been the best car I've ever driven in my entire life. And this is actually a hypercharged Performante Spider. What I really like about this car is that you can see everything. So they've taken the entire Spider mechanism off of the back. Come check out everything you can see inside from the different ECUs to all of the plumbing to carbon fiber elements in the frame. Right here, you've got all of the ECUs and controls that normally are hidden underneath paneling. And then you can see on the Spider, one complaint people have is less legroom and headroom. That's because of the additional mechanisms required for the Spider and the layout of the car. You can see here, this is actually where the back of the seat can go to in max position. So you don't have that shelf like I do in the back of my car. You don't have that extra storage space and the seat range is a little bit more limited. But you get to drop the top and experience the now supercharged V10. So that's kind of like a huge plus. Check out this carbon fiber reinforcement piece here. I think that is so cool. Then we've got uh, the waffle maker as we like to call it. This is a supercharger by VF and all of the piping and plumbing. Pretty darn cool. And then I'm jealous once again of this guy and his new exhaust. So VF makes a new exhaust for the Performantes. That is one of the shiniest, sexiest things I have ever seen. And I'm sure that it sounds really freaking good. Hopefully we can go for a drive in this thing soon. I know the owner and I've always wanted to drive a Perf Spider, let alone a supercharged one. I am really in love with white recently. We've got a ton of white cars here, but check this out. This is. It's like a matte white, but it actually looks good. Sometimes when you do matte white or matte black, it kind of looks like, well, cheap. But this doesn't look cheap whatsoever, especially with the competition wheels and all the carbon fiber elements. They did a super good job with this thing. Love the red GTS. I drove a Targa 4 GTS a while back and was just blown away by the thing. We got an F-Type, another Performante, and another freaking Performante. But in front, we've got the coolest car here and that is a 1971 ice cream truck. None of these guys, none of these guys can touch this ice cream truck, okay? Let's, let's go, it doesn't even run, it doesn't have any horsepower. So I'm here with Nick, good to see you again, and my ridiculous ice cream truck. For those of you who are new to the channel, I bought a 1971 ice cream truck that I'm going to completely revamp Yes, I'm gonna serve ice cream out of it. Yes, I'm gonna take it to car shows. And yes, it's going to be stupid fast. I'm talking to Nick because he's all about going fast. He's all about good vibes and making it reliable. So what, we came up with like, we're, we're going for a 2JZ. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Bas basically guys, we are literally right now sourcing a 2JZ engine and transmission. We've been talking to and exploring the options of different shops that specialize in engine swaps and building. So these guys are gonna handle the tuning, the logistics, we're gonna bounce ideas off each other, but you guys don't take old cars and LS swap them. You don't 2JZ swap them yet. 
but <laughs> <laughs> but I want to make sure that they're doing what they want to be doing. I'm doing what I want to be doing, and a specialist is working on the 2JZ swap. So we've got some shops in mind, but if you have done a lot of 2JZ transmission swaps, you've built Supers before, you've put it into some oddball cars, that could be a really cool partnership if you're in the Southern California area. If you are a shop that's able to do this and you're interested in the idea, big publicity, that's what I'm saying, DM me on Instagram at Vehicle Virgins with some info about your shop and what you think we could create. This is gonna be crazy. I mean, think about the Sprinter vans that I've done recently. I'm thinking something similar in the inside. Starry Night headliner, just a chill spot, some TV screens, some Fortnite action. Window pops down, we're at car shows, giving out ice cream, and then after we've respectfully left the car show with no drifts, in an area where we can, we're gonna do the hugest burnouts with anti-lag ever. So, do you like this plan or? Sounds good. Sounds good, wait, how can we make it great? We'll help coordinate some of that yeah. razzmatazz. Yeah. And let's get it going. <laughs> yeah. That's why we came to VF Engineering. This thing is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. Peace. Hey